Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. Um, <laughs> I was thinking of different videos that I wanted to put up. I wanted to kind of continue my little like tarot series, you know, if you want to call it a series. Um, just some fun videos to put up about tarot reading and things like that, tarot related because that's what I do, right? So I was thinking, um, what else can I talk about? And I think what I wanna talk about today is ways that you can use tarot other than doing readings for people. So if you don't wanna be a tarot reader for other people, let's fix this just a little bit. Okay. <laughs> so if you don't wanna um, do tarot readings for other people, but you wanna own the decks and you wanna like, still learn the cards, there are other things that you can do with them. So first things first, um, you can pull daily cards for yourself. So tarot is a great tool for personal discovery, self-discovery, therapy, um, devotions. So uh, you know how like some of people are, uh, okay, the, the way I got the daily devotions idea was not only because other readers do this themselves on Instagram, but my mom is a very, 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 very um, Christian woman. And I remember she had gifted me a daily devotional book for the Bible. And um, it was it's a really sweet book. I still have it because sometimes I do like to look through it. Sometimes some of the Bible verses for the day to look at, they're inspiring. But you can also do that with tarot cards. So if you're not a religious person or you're not really in tune with that kind of um, spirituality, but you are a spiritual person, like I consider myself a spiritual person, but I don't necessarily dive into the Bible. Um, I do like to do my spirituality through the tarot. And so what you can do is a daily devotional or a daily tarot devotional. Um, pull a single card from a tarot deck or an oracle deck if you're not much of a tarot reader um, or not into the tarot and use that card as your daily your daily mantra your daily inspiration um, or look at it as insight into the energy of your day or what you should focus on you can also do a nightly devotional so let's say you don't want to pull a card for the day, but maybe you want to, you're want you more of that person. Like this is kind of what I like to do is pull a card for nighttime. I'm more of a reflection type of a person. So I like to journal. I like to pull cards at the end of the day and write journal, just write in my journal based on the cards that I pull and my experiences for that day or the week or whatever I'm writing for. So you could do a nightly devotional as well. Um... And, and basically you're, you're utilizing the tarot deck to help inspire your intuition to come up with ways um, to focus for the day or ways to reflect on the day if you're doing it at night. Um, another thing you can use tarot for are for like crafts, art projects, craft projects. Um, I have often used a, an old deck. So I have a deck of tarot cards in the closet. I should have pulled it out. But it's just a, a Rider weight deck that I had bought on a on impulse, and um, I use the cards as bookmarks. So, <laughs> so if you guys are ever watch, like um, looking at my um, my Instagram channel, sometimes I will post like um, the current book I'm reading or whatever, and I usually always have a tarot card as a bookmark. So that's another thing that you guys can do is utilize the cards in art projects. You can do bookmarks, you can make them into collages, you could do a vision board with a deck, um, you can make a tarot journal. So I have a video on that in my um, Learn Tarot With Me playlist, I believe, um, where I teach you guys how you could do your own, how you can create your own tarot journal. Um, using just an old or an extra deck of cards. Sometimes we make we have those accidents where we spill water on a deck of cards and instead of just throwing them out, you can find different ways to use them as, to recycle them, you know? Um, a fun one that I really liked was the idea of hole punching the cards and stringing, you know, stringing like string or whatever um twine through them and hanging them as like you know little little decorations little banners or whatever in my tarot room which is something i really want to do so 
so I might even recycle an old deck for that purpose. Um, so that's another idea that you can use the cards for. Um, let's see. You can also use your cards for intention work. So if you're like me and you like to set intentions with candles, you can totally pull a card and use that as well with your intentions. If you are a, a <laughs> I'm not, I don't call myself one, but if you are a, a, a witch, a self-proclaimed witch, and you do the spells, you do like that kind of manifestation work, you can also add in the flavor of tarot with your spell work and whatnot. Um, so I've been known to pull a card or two just to see the energy of the intention that I'm putting in one of the candles. Um, but um, you could also take it a step further and utilize it in your spell craft, you know, if that's your thing. Um, let's see, what else could we use the cards for? You could use them for meditation purposes. So I have been known to pull a card, especially with the Oracle decks. I feel like Oracle decks are a really great way to um, pull a card from the Oracle deck and use that card, whether it's the imagery or the the phrase that comes along with the card um, in your meditation experience. So you pull the card and maybe you place yourself in that setting because I do have a deck where it's like all landscapes. Um, I've been known to pull a card from that for certain clients as homework assignments for them to help them meditate and like focus on the landscape of that card. Um, but you could also pull a tarot card and meditate on the character if there is a character in the card or meditate on the energy of that card and, and what can that bring to you? How can that assist you in your spiritual journey? So that's a pretty cool one too. Um, there was another one I wanted to mention, like something else that you guys could do with the tarot. Oh, on Instagram. So if you're into the Instagram thing and you're like, and you check out the tarot community tags and whatnot, um, people will create tarot challenges. So it's like once, one, every day of the month, there is a, like a little blurb for that month and you either you pull a card or you do a, like a little mini reading or you could take photos of the, the card that you pull, post it as an Instagram post each day. So you get kind of like a little prompt and then you, you post a tarot card for that day. So that's kind of a really fun way to actually help you learn the cards. Um, you could just be a tarot collector. Maybe some people strictly are, they don't really like to read the cards, but they are into collecting the decks. So, you know, you can do that, be a tarot collector. Um, technically, I feel like a lot of us readers tend to end up becoming little tarot collectors in our own way. Um, I know for me, I had started off with a couple decks and then like a year later I had thousands. Okay, not thousands, but <laughs> I had a fair share of amount. Um, and it grows, you know, because it's, if it's something that you're interested in, obviously you're going to want to buy more of it. So that's another idea is, you know, tarot collecting, or maybe you can challenge yourself if there's like a certain out of print deck that you want to get your hands on, maybe you can find it, you know, there's nothing like having an out of print deck on your wish list and then actually finding it and owning it. And it's like the most amazing feeling. It's like, oh, I, I conquered that challenge and I now own this deck and it's, it's just a really cool feeling. So that's another thing. Um... Oh, you can utilize the tarot cards to inspire you with your writing. So if you're into writing short stories, you can utilize the cards to, to kind of inspire you with that. You can use them to kind of help you develop a plot for your, your, your short stories. Um, you can also help them with your poetry. So I, I like to do tarot and poetry. Um, that's usually like a personal journaling um, session for myself, but sometimes I have been known to post my poems alongside the tarot card that inspired that poem. So if you want to kind of like challenge yourself in both the writing aspect and the tarot aspect, you could pull a card and inspire yourself based on that card to write a poem or a short story or whatnot. So that's kind of a cool one too. Um, you could use the cards to create um, playlists on the music like creating um like there's a there's a tarot reader that creates tarot playlists now I think I think she only has a couple of them out like I know she has the full I think she just has a full magician and high priestess 
but basically on Pandora, I think she uses Pandora, um, she used the essence of the fool and pulled a whole bunch of different songs that makes her think of the fool card and created a music playlist. So that's really cool because I think um, if you're feeling, you know, if you're feeling super intuitive and psychic like the high priestess, you'll play that music and you'll just be in that zone. Or if you're looking for a challenge and wanting to like expand your horizons, then you'll want to listen to more of the fool kind of energy. So it's, that's a pretty cool idea. I'm, I'm, I'm not well versed in music to, to create playlists like that, but I think the idea of doing that is really exciting. Um, so that's kind of fun. Um... What else? This shit's just coming off the top of my head, to be honest. Like, I don't <laughs> I don't have a list here. I just think of different ways that I like to use the cards. Um, I mean, it, even just as a relaxation session, if you have your cards, like, pull them out, you know? Focus, put some music on, put the incense going, and focus on putting them in order. And just, it's just to me, it, it, it really calms your energy. It really makes you feel more relaxed and just kind of grounding just to like sit with your cards for a little bit um, and do that, you know. You could just create art, you know. Some people are inspired by pulling a card and then they just paint or they draw some amazing stuff. Like I, I'm not artistically inclined in that way, but um, it does en enhance my writing style for sure. Um, so, you know, utilizing that to inspire your artwork and whatnot. There's lots of different ways that you can use the cards aside from just doing tarot readings. Um, there's a lot of people out there who may, may call themselves readers, but they don't necessarily always read for people, but they do utilize the deck in other ways. And it, it's enhancing their spiritual connection to God, or it's enhancing their psychic um, connection to themselves, or it's, you know, a creative outlet. Whatever the case may be, you can use tarot for so many different things. It doesn't just have to be for tarot readings. So um, that's really all I can think of right now at the top of my head. But if you guys have any other suggestions, please leave them below in the comments because I do have a lot of people who do read the comments. Um, so let's share some ideas. If you guys get other ideas, let me know. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for tuning in and I will talk to you guys later. Bye, my loves.